Hey, good morning. This is Cash Magal from Cash Data Consulting LLC. I'm coming to you from Barcelona, Spain. Actually, no, I lied. It, uh, I'm sitting in Plano, Texas. Uh, today, we're actually going to cover Google Business Profile, um, short is GBP, and how to uh, add and remove users. Uh, we provide uh, online marketing for a lot of small businesses in Plano, Texas, and uh, as part of our services, uh, you know, we we optimize basically Google listings, which, by the way, recently changed their name to Google Business Profile. OK, uh, and in case you don't know what is Google Business Profile, so it's a one page free listing from Google. OK, you can you can do about your business. I'm still shocked today. Twenty twenty two. Some businesses have no idea or they, you know, they, they have a listing. Remember, Google can create a listing for you. They have no idea that the listing is there. You are leaving money on the table. OK, now the website is right there. It's uh, Google.com uh, slash business. And I, I do have to pick on Google a little bit. They cannot make up their mind on this one, this particular product. OK, it's been called Google Places, Google Plus, right? Google Local, if you remember, that was a while ago. Um, some people refer to it Google Google Maps. Up until recently, it used to be called Google My Business. So what is that? That's five. Now we're up to really finally the new name is Google Business Profile, and I don't know what's going to be the next. So this is not the end of it, uh, but uh, you know, very confusing. Uh, so thank you, thank you, Google, for confusing everyone. Um, hey, it's okay because it you know. They, they pick up the phone and they're like, uh, hey, Cash, what's going on? So it, it, in a way, it generates business for us. But, um, you know, let's let's just review today. This is going to be a very quick video. Let's review some of uh, the Google profiles that we manage uh, our company, which, again, is uh, based in Barcelona. I wish uh, we manage um, search engine optimization, Google ads, Facebook ads, um, social media content video all of the above for small businesses if you have any questions um, you know put them down in the comments below um, reach out to us we we would love to work with you we offer uh, some free services right off the bat so don't hesitate to contact us okay but uh, let's just kind of jump into this so <clears throat> let me let me just go to this website real quick uh, I'm going to switch to the browsers so <clears throat> Here we go. So, you know, I'm logging into the listing, right? Um, this should automatically log me into this uh, because I'm already I'm already logged into it. I think I I don't know. We'll find out here. I don't know what happens. Okay, so I'm already whenever I do a demo, new things happen. So I have, I have 14 businesses. I do not have 14 businesses, but some of them are mine. Some of them are my clients. But my point is that um, if I go back, apology on this one, um, you know, as you know, the expression, all good things come to an end, right? Projects come and go. I mean, hell, people come and go, right? But so, sometimes our wonderful clients, right? Uh, we, we finish a project, you know, they forget to terminate our access. I mean, it's okay for me to snoop around, but technically, you know, they should just clear all all of that access as the project ends so and let me just let me give you a quick example of this actually today what is this february 27 almost march so we have some clients some active clients in here but look at let's look at this one so this is a uh, awesome uh, salon uh, actually just down the street okay they do uh, blowouts and they do all kinds of fun stuff but if i go if i go on the left side right and if I go down to users, right? And by the way, on the left, you have to go to users. There you go. This Cash Magal, I still have access. Okay. Let's look at uh, let's look at another customer. Um, uh, let's see. So that's me right there. Um, but let's go to and like I said, some other active clients. But here's another one. Okay, we finished this project a year ago. Uh, very very good project. We did. Uh, it's a plastic surgery based in Louisiana. And uh, Alexandria, I believe, and uh, we, you know, we work for them. SEO, Google Ads, very good. Project came to an end. Like I said, all good, good things come to an end. But here, if I scroll down, right, if I go down to the users, there's uh, Dr. John Williams. He's the he's the owner. Um, and but there's me right there. Okay, I'm I'm still listed as the as the you know manager. Why? Because I'm not working on this project anymore. So how do I, 
how do you how do you get rid of a user right so that's the main thing we're going to cover here so before i do that let me switch to powerpoint uh it's very simple actually i mean really we're just going to show you how to add a user and we're going to show you how to remove a user okay again in google business profile um we will uh, we're going to do this in reverse order first i'm going to show you how to delete a user so again you log into google business profile manager which is you know gbp um on on in the menu on the left side i showed you click on the users we find the manager that you that is no longer working for your company anymore so in our case we had an associate uh, buckle sahib we're gonna go remove that and then at the end i'm going to add a new user okay uh, to a to a manager level for uh, one of our clients which is four star pest control okay so let me switch again i'm going to find my listing actually let me go back here <coughs> So here's my listing, and um, if I go to the left, I'm going to go to users, right? So we're based in Plano, Texas. Here you go. See Buckle Sahib right there. They're listed as, as a manager. They're no longer working for me anymore, right? Why are they still there? I don't know. So I'm going to just click on X, right? And it says, do you want to remove this person? Hell yeah. So click remove, right? And then you're done. Boom, right there, okay? So go to the listing, click on the users, find the users, get rid of them, period. No no need to keep them around, right? Especially if they're not, and I mean, chances are low, but what if they decided, right? They decided they're gonna go back and screw up your listing or something like that, okay? How do you, you know, you don't, you don't want that, right? So the second thing is how to add a user. So I'm going to show you a client we have, just four star pass, they recently moved. So that's why they're, uh, sus uh, they're, the listing shows a suspended. So we're working on that. When you move an address, it, um, it basically changes that status because Google cannot verify it. So here you go. I'm going to add this email, right? This is actually one of our other emails. How do you click? How do you add a user? You click on add user, right? You're going to put in their email, right? You're go going to select a role. So uh, you, you never want to make anybody a, an owner, by the way. You want to make them a manager, right? And then go ahead and invite, right? Once you do that, it says invited manager. You click on done. I'm going to, since I own that account as well, I'm going to log into uh, this one, okay? And so what, what this is going to tell you, see, it looked there, right there. It says Cash Mughal invited you to manage this, this account and and then you go down here you click on accept boom right there okay once you do that click accept you go back to your listing here the original listing and now when i click on the users right there you go right and in fact let me just actually refresh it sorry so let me refresh it gotta hit that f5 if i go to the users Boom, right there now, that person's a manager. Okay, so very quick video. Just wanted to, you know, put this out there. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and like the video if you found it helpful. We're offering a free SEO audit report, no obligation in March, okay? Reach out to us. We would love to give you, it's going to give you some basic pointers from search engine, social media, and link building, right? Our contact information is right there. Have a wonderful day. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching it. We would love to hear from you. And if you have any questions, connect with us. The best way to do that is through our website. Here it is on the screen. You can also connect. There should be a link up there. Okay. We have a blog that we regularly post uh, topics on digital marketing, also focus on small businesses. In addition, we have uh, obviously our social media. So you can connect with us on Facebook if you like. We are very active on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and then finally YouTube. That's where you're seeing our video. Uh, again, um, have a good day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.